And what better way now to segue to our third discussion, Professor Maria Ivanova from Bulgaria, who is an expert on international governance. And she's brought innovative input to international negotiations about how to reform the United Nations system for the environment. And we look forward now to your comments on the panelists' statement. Over to you. Thank you very much. It is indeed an honor to be here today and represent the scientific and technological community. As was pointed out, we are the community that is defined by hyper-specialization. Science and silos go together. And so I'm here today to share with you how we have transcended that, how indeed we have reformed the educational architecture to go from multidisciplinarity to transdisciplinarity. As a professor of global governance at the University of Massachusetts, Boston, I study institutions. But I was also privileged to be part of a group that was charged with a new opportunity, presented with a new opportunity to design a new institution, a new PhD program in global governance and human security that was designed to cross silos and create integration. So today here, I come not with an ask, I come with an offer. I come to offer that the scientific community has three abilities. Use our ability to analyze, our bravery to speak truth to power, and our commitment to change the world. Indeed, the one constant in academia is that we have young people. Every single year, we get more and more young people who are committed to change the world. And today, I just want to share with you three key points that revolve around change. There are three questions that we usually ask. What to change, to what to change to, and how to cause the change. In this area, the sustainable development, I would argue that we need to change the fundamentals, which is how we understand the state of the world, how we understand the issues we face, and how we work to solving those issues. We also need to change the narrative, meaning how we communicate about those issues. To what to change to? We need to change from disciplinary silos to transdisciplinarity. Problem solving today requires understanding of the causes and consequences between human and natural systems. And how to cause the change? That's the most difficult question. And there are no right or wrong answers, but there are better or worse answers. And I'd like to share with you how we at the University of Massachusetts Boston have tried to answer that through our experience in creating a new integrative PhD program on coasts and communities that crosses disciplines, that crosses scales, and that crosses geographies. It crosses disciplines because it brings together four different disciplines, environmental science, environmental biology, global governance and human security, and business. It crosses scales because it goes from the local to the national to the regional to the global. And geographies because it focuses on the Horn of Africa and Massachusetts. And so we, when we went to the National Science Foundation with this ask, help us to inform, to educate a new education, a new generation of global problem solvers to work on problems in Massachusetts, in Boston Harbor, and in landlocked Ethiopia and the Horn of Africa, the National Science Foundation said, what is common between those geographies? And we said, what is common will be the people that we train, because if they can solve problems in Boston Harbor and in landlocked Ethiopia, in Massachusetts and in the Horn of Africa, they can solve problems anywhere. And you know what? The National Science Foundation said that's exactly what we're looking for. And so we received $3.1 million for this integrative program on coasts and communities that crosses disciplines, scales, and geographies. And I'd like to leave you today with just one thought. My teaching philosophy that is based on a Chinese proverb. I hear and I forget. I see and I remember, I do and I understand. So I'd like to invite you delegates, colleagues, to engage with us in academia and come do with us 
solve collective pro problems across disciplines, scales, and geographies. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed.